Hi guys, it's your girl Karina. I feel like I never film vlogs because my life is just so boring. <laughs> but um, I got the chance to go to LA for four days and I thought I'd actually show you what I wore outside every day instead of just like posing around my room like I usually do for my videos. I'm pretty new at this so yeah, forgive me if this vlog is shit. On my first day, I went to the Grove because I'm such a tourist. Um, I wore this Sherling jacket with my favorite Shein skirt and tights. A lot of you guys warned me about how cold LA is in December, which is when I went. But honestly, you guys, it felt straight up like spring. Maybe it's because I'm from Canada and anything above 15 degrees to us is like summer. So I switched out of my Sherling jacket because I'm crazy like that and I brought like one extra jacket with me <laughs> out on my trip to the Grove because I thought that it might get too warm so this is the perfect transitional jacket and I really love how the inside of my outfit can be paired with both like a monochrome black jacket and also this kind of like plaid jacket for a different look so it's like one outfit, two jackets <laughs> I stopped by Brandy Melville and tried on some of their stuff. So most of their stuff are one size fits all, which is kind of weird, but they make up for it with how stretchy their stuff are. So I picked up three basic sweaters in the most basic colors that I can think of, so I can mix and match them in my winter outfits. Okay, this skirt is way too big for me, but I still bought it. I can't help it because I love this pattern more than I love candy. I'm just going to pay 10 bucks when I go back home to have it tailored and it's going to fit me perfectly. And then we headed back to the hotel and got changed. I got into my comfy teddy jacket with my go-to jeans and runners. I actually forgot to film the rest of this night because I think I got too hangry and I wasn't thinking straight at this point. So yeah, anyway, on to day two. So this jacket is actually from Super Down and Revolve and I thought it would be really expensive but it's actually super super reasonable for a jacket of this quality so look into it, I'll be linking everything down below as always so you guys can check them out if you're interested and also to go with my jacket, I'm going with this like burberry looking skirt it's like a Burberry skirt that costs only like 12 bucks <laughs> and it's from Nasty Gal and this is what it looks like I just thought that the beige really really matches the beige of the jacket so it goes together keeping the rest of my outfit pretty neutral just black on top and black on the bottom and OTKs as always these OTKs are so comfortable and they're only like $30 I wore them basically yesterday to walk all over LA and it was really really comfy to walk in because it's got low heels <laughs> Ever since I watched La La Land, I've been wanting to go to the Griffith Observatory, which has a great view of LA. Because we're so high up, it was actually a lot colder up here. So yeah, if you come, make sure to bring an extra jacket or a scarf or whatever so you don't freeze. So it's been on my bucket list for so long to come to the Griffith Observatory and I'm finally here. And the sunset is the best, best time to visit. You get like all the colors of the rainbow. Your pinks, your purples, your blues, your yellows, your orange, more purple. <laughs> look, look, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? <laughs> Day three, I went to Rodeo Drive and picked up another pair of Stuart Weitzman boots. You guys are probably thinking like, how many Stuart Weitzman boots do you need, girl? Like, is three pairs not enough? But um, this is actually a newer model than the one I have and it was nearly 50% off, so I can't not get it. Um, what can I say? I'm just a sucker for sales. I also did a quick photo shoot here, so if you follow me on Instagram, you probably recognize these outfits and settings, but yeah, I was pretty obsessed with my glitter tights so I kept it on and just switched up my top. I also brought a blanket scarf with me because I thought it was going to be really cold um, but it also adds a pop of color to my otherwise monochrome outfit so yeah that's the one way to keep it interesting. So as you can see I'm just going to keep it really simple and casual tonight with <laughs> my organza tool dress that is like bigger than my shoulders and like wider than everything. 
guys all know I love Shein and they actually invited me to their LA holiday party. So I'm usually stuck in the suburban reality of Canada which has like a few trees and Walmart and like nothing else. So let me tell you, this party made me feel like a legit celebrity. Also, this pink dress is a dupe of the one Kendall Jenner wore, so yeah, even more celebrity status. <laughs> um, I actually forgot what happened the rest of the night because yeah, I got pretty tipsy, so yeah, I'm just gonna fast forward. You guys don't need to see me drunk. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> Okay, that's it guys. I hope this vlog gave you some ideas for real life wearable outfits that are functional but still cute. Let me know if you guys want to see more vlogs like this in the future and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! It's funny because... It's so funny because... <laughs> <laughs> oh, vlogging is hard. <laughs>